Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the all new Sonos Beam second generation. The main upgrade is the CPU. It's 40% faster, so it's much better at processing the sound it gets from your TV and playing those sounds on the exact right speakers to give you great surround sound from a pretty small package, including Dolby Atmos. It has the same number of speakers as the previous generation Beam, which is four woofers, one tweeter, and three passive radiators. The combination of all of those speakers allows a speaker as small as this to sound very full and rich all by itself. One of the main reasons you might want a soundbar like the Beam second generation is for speech or dialogue enhancement so that you can hear the actors on the screen more clearly, what they're saying so you don't miss a line of dialogue. This does that, it indeed has speech enhancement in addition to having great sound and great surround sound. To get the beam connected to your TV, you'll simply use an HDMI connection. Uh, you'll plug that into the ARC connection on your TV. That way you can get sound from your TV into the sound bar. That's called audio return channel. And if your TV has enhanced audio return channel, it's compatible with that as well. That's how you can get the Dolby Atmos from compatible TV shows and movies into the Sonos Beam. If your TV doesn't have ARC on its HDMI connections, but it does have an optical output, that's okay. The Beam comes with an HDMI cable as well as an HDMI to optical adapter. So you should be able to use the Beam with just about any TV. Now, for one of the coolest things about Sonos. With the beam connected to your TV, either from optical or HDMI, the sound from your TV can be played on the beam as well as any other Sonos speaker or zone you have in your home. All controllable from a Sonos app on your phone uh, that allows you to play the same or different songs in each zone uh, and to customize the volume and the sound in each zone. The beam is one of those zones and one of the sources now available to all of those speakers. So the Beam has surround sound pretty well built in and covered with all of the speakers and that faster CPU. But if you want more, you can add more. Uh, you can pair this together with two speakers you put in the rear of your room for rear surround sound. So you might use Sonos Ones or One SLs as your surround left and right. You can also hook it up with a Sonos Sub. So you can get a true full 5.1 system with loads of bass. And you can do all of that in the Sonos app, pair them all together to create a seamless wireless home theater system. All you gotta do is plug each Sonos speaker into the wall for power. Regardless of whether you're using a full Sonos wireless surround system or just the Beam, you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of a Sonos feature called TruePlay. You go into the app, you start TruePlay. You'll need to use an iPhone for this. It's not compatible with Android. Uh, it uses your iPhone's microphone. So you'll get the TruePlay started, you'll walk around your room with your phone, and it will basically listen to sounds playing on your Sonos speakers in the room. It detects how those sounds bounce around your room so that it can optimize the sound from all of your Sonos speakers in that room for your listening environment. So uh, it's pretty great. It's a way to customize the sound for exactly where you watch TV. To control the sound of the beam, uh, you have multiple ways to do that. Uh, using HDMI, CEC, or consumer electronics control, you're probably just gonna control the sound of the beam directly from your TV remote. The same remote you were already using to turn your volume up and down will tell the beam to turn up and down simply because of how HDMI connections work these days. It's super simple. Of course, you also have the Sonos app on your phone. You'll be able to control it and just play music or select an input to play something on the beam as well. You can also just talk to it. It has Google and Alexa built in. Uh, so you don't even have to have a separate Echo Dot or Google Home in the room. This is that smart assistant for you. Uh, you select which one you want to use and you can speak commands to it. So if you want to hear the weather or set an alarm or hear the news or tell it what song to play, you can simply speak to it and it will obey. So if you're looking for a soundbar that integrates well with your TV, the speakers you might have in a Sonos system in the rest of your house looks great and sounds amazing, the Sonos Beam second gen might be the right trick for you. If you have any questions about it, please get in touch with us. Go to crutchfield.com slash contact. You'll be able to talk live with one of our advisors, either over the phone or chat with them online. You can also post your questions right here on this YouTube video. We do pay attention to those and we will respond accordingly. And as usual, like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Thank you for watching.